What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. What do we have here today, my friends? Well, we have a loud power supply for one, but for two, we have the world's biggest 25 watt amplifier. Yes, my friends, this joker is 24 inches long. The US Amps VLX 25, rated at 12 and a half watts by two. What a joke. So what we're going to do for this quick test is I'm going to show off the AMM1 and I'm going to explain it a little bit better about what we're going to do. So first off I'm going to do the run and then I'll talk about it. So the amp is rated at 50 watts into a 4 ohm load. So we're going to run in a 40 hertz test tone through it. Okay there you see 213 watts at and um, so what we're doing here is we're actually using the AMM1 and we're using a speaker instead of resistors. That's what's really cool about this device is if you don't have the money to go out and buy resistors, you can actually get the actual wattage output going to your speaker using this device. So the other thing I can do real quick is I can show you what the box rise is for this. So let me go to the correct mode. Okay, so we're gonna see the frequency is gonna be 40 Hertz. And you'll see what the ohm load is at clipping. So this should simulate what we saw before. Okay, you see that? About 4.7 ohms. So this 4 ohm speaker at 40 hertz is about 4.7 ohms. So that's not much of a load for this amp. It's designed for one quarter ohm. I don't know if you can see that. One quarter ohm stable. So it's like four times more than it's rated power at 4 ohms. So I can't wait to test it at other loads. But I wanted to kind of explain the importance of what this is doing. This is actually taking whatever speaker you can have, as many you want, as you want hooked up, and it will measure the actual wattage by using the power factor. Um, you can see the one of the modes here actually shows you the power factor. So any of your reactive loads are gonna have a power factor. That's why when you clamp an amplifier, you don't get actual wattage, you actually get volt amps. And it may not be a huge difference, or it may be. It just depends on your um, depends on your setup. But you can see here, see my power factor, about 96%. So what you would do is, in this case, in order to get an accurate measurement, is you would have to take your volt amps and multiply them times that power factor. So instead of getting you know 200 watts, you would get 97% or 96% of 200 watts. So it's actually pretty close in this example, but sometimes it's further off. But anyway, that's why this device is so cool. And um, it also measures clipping, which is something that, uh, unless you have an O-scope, you know, you can't really see that when you're doing your clamp test. So awesome device here, SMD AMM1. And stay tuned for the full test of this monster 25 watt amp, the US Amps VLX 25. This is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Until next time, my friends, I'm out of here.